Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome to my kitchen. Today I'm gonna be making my own take on Cubanos. I mean, I'm gonna pretty much make them how they usually are. Just gonna change a little bit of things. For instance, the bread, um, the cheese. I think I do have the Swiss cheese that I guess usually goes on it. I have mustard, pickles, the ham. Um, it's mainly the bread that kind of changes but um okay let's get started okay so these are my ingredients what i'm going to be using so i got the smoked pulled pork um pork <laughs> from costco i got the kirkland brand so yeah that's the costco brand um i'm actually going to use also the bread from costco it's going to be a little different because i think usually you use cubano bread but um i'm going to be using artisan artisan rolls so i'm gonna use that as the bread i got my mustard my swiss pickles uh butter and then i got i guess i'm gonna be using well the ham that comes in this i got this from costco too and yes so first we're gonna heat up the pulled pork i believe you have to microwave it or something um let's see Okay, so I can do it on the stove top. So place pouch in boiling water for 12 to 15 minutes. Carefully remove product from water and towel dry. Open bag and place contents in a tray or suitable container. And then if I want to microwave it, I'm going to puncture four small holes in the plastic. I'm going to put the plastic pouch inside the tray and place in the microwave. Heat high for seven minutes. And then let's stand for two. Okay, so my husband's hungry, so I think I'm just gonna microwave this mm -hmm. faster. So let's get that started. Okay, so it's now in the microwave for the seven minutes. And then I have to let it cool off for two. Just gonna break it apart a little bit um, so I could easily put this on the Cubano. Just using a fork to break it up. <laughs> Gonna add the mustard. To both buns. meats it's a big chunk of meat but we're hungry so that and then now the ham just put one piece of ham and then the cheese. Oh, got to open up the cheese real quick. All right, let's get the cheese on here. I'll put the cheese right there on the other bun for right now. And get some pickles on this. I love pickles. Pickle me up. Okay. And then now we're going to take it over here. Okay, so there's butter on this. On my, um, damn, whatever this thing is called. <laughs> because I was about to heat up the bread with the butter before even adding anything onto the sandwich. Because I was like, I don't know, I'm just a little out of it. So, yeah, now we're going to heat it up. On here, I'm gonna turn this on. I already have butter on both of these sides because this is the bread that I was already using. So, am I supposed to like heat it like this and then like put it on? 
<laughs> I don't know. Maybe it was. I don't know. I'm just doing my own way. Sorry, my daughter's yelling in the background. So I thought I was putting a lot, but I think I could have used more. And I've seen like people like like press it down. Maybe I'm gonna use something else. Get those juices going. I think I'm just gonna heat it up for like a minute on each side. Should I do more than that? I don't know. This is my first time making a cubano, so it's a learning, it's a learning process. Okay, now I'm gonna flip it over. And I'm gonna do one more, and I'm gonna put more meat on there because this Cubano's looking a little skinny. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and make the other one while I'm waiting for it to finish heating on the stove. Oh wait, I'm gonna add the, the mustard first. My hands are clean and I'm only feeding my family, so don't come after me. Okay, I feel like I got more. I'm gonna put a little bit more meat and now I'm gonna add the ham. There we go, there's the ham. It still looks like not enough meat, but whatever. Okay, so I'm gonna put a slice of Swiss on top of this, or I'll put it here. Anyways, oh, pickles. I needed my pickles. Again, gonna get a good amount. Oh, almost dropped that. My pickles, love the pickles. I'm wondering if I should put the pickles next time under the ham. That way it stays in. You know what? I'm just going to do that. Flip it over. That way it doesn't come sliding out. I mean, it might still, but cover it a little bit. Put this on top. Okay, let's check on the other one. before I started packing on everything. Good amount of butter. And, <laughs> oh jeez, okay. I feel like I put like a lot of butter, but whatever. I'm not gonna put all the butter on this because that's a lot. So yeah, we're gonna do that a thing again where I let it cook for a, a minute or two on each side. I have my stove on medium heat. All right, guys. Um, so it's three o'clock. <laughs> um. I have my stand posted all weird. 
so the camera's up like at an angle. Anywho, okay, it's three o'clock. I'm gonna flip the sandwich now. All right, let's not burn myself. Put that meat back in there. Ah. All right, whatever, I'll fix it after. I'm just gonna do it maybe one minute on this side because it does seem really hot. I feel like it's fine. And all my toppings are falling out on this sandwich because I put a lot more than the last one. Bless this mess. About to eat good right now. So it's 301. Took me a little bit of flip. <laughs> um, and then we're gonna be finished at 302, and then I'm gonna cut both sandwiches and take the final picture and the taste test. Damn, either this bread is super, super strong, or this knife is dull. I think I gotta sharpen the knife after this. Damn, bread, come on. Give me a break. Okay, there we go. So I'm just gonna plate this now. All right, final product. how it's looking the bun is kind of almost falling off oh my god my lipstick all over it I forgot to take the picture first. It's good. I like it. Maybe could have used a, one more slice of cheese. But um, I like it. I'm gonna take a picture of this. Oh, my lipstick. Should have taken it off. Anywho, well, that was my first time making a Cubano. I hope you enjoyed my video. I'm gonna go give my husband his sandwich now so he can eat and I'm gonna finish eating mine. So I'll catch you guys in my next video. Thanks for watching.